Okay, just thought I'd shoot a little video of my uh, vintage Super Modified. Last raced in the 60s. And then sat out on a trailer until we picked it up. And uh, a couple of years ago, kind of at the height of COVID really. Or the, I probably just started the COVID I should say. I'm sitting out behind the barn in West Lorne. My good friend Dennis Smith told me about it when uh, they had posted on Facebook looking for a barn find um, or yard art. I wanted a yard art race car is what I was after. I never thought I'd find something this cool. So big thanks to Dennis for that. Originally we thought the grill was out of a tractor, but then um, Ken McNichol um, was looking at it. He thinks it's actually from a big old heater that they used to use in uh, schools. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of these older cars, especially cool stuff like that, like finding, using an old uh, heater, cutting it up for a grill. That's, that's, that's really cool to me. The ingenuity is pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, the leaf's broke on this side, but uh, Pretty cool old suspension. Um, one of the Manning brothers came over um, and went over the car with me. I used to race against his son Dwayne. When Dwayne's dad came over, he gave me a ton of awesome info on how they used to build these and stuff they used to use. Got an old Buick nail head in it. Awesome big tank manifold. Six carburetors. Two barrels. Full of walnuts and whatever else. Pretty cool linkage setup. It's uh pretty cool what they used to have to do the resourcefulness and making all the junkyard stuff work and I don't know if they made this fuel log or if you could buy that but uh, would have been a lot of work getting all this linkage dialed in it's, uh, yeah it's pretty cool See spark plugs missing. I, it was hard getting uh, the full story on this car. The the driver passed away. I'm guessing he parked it because of engine trouble. Because uh, yeah, he had the spark plug out. Doesn't look too pretty in there. I uh, can't really see, but there's a bunch of junk in the cylinder. It'd be interesting to get a bore scope, see what's actually wrong in there, but it's uh I think it's just a really cool time capsule. I have an uh, unmolested piece of history like this. I just love the old race cars. I'd love to find some older stock cars from the eighties and nineties, so if anybody knows anything, let me know. If I uh, if I missed anything on this video anybody wants to see particularly in this car just comment in the comment section below and I'll uh, maybe I'll make another video if there's enough stuff people want covered. This a really cool old car. Exactly how it was raced. The right front tire actually held air for months. We went and picked it up. To load it, I put some air in the tire to help. 
we were kind of shocked to see that it held air and it sat holding air for months sitting here in the shop. So it was originally supposed to be yard art, but I don't have the heart to put it back outside. I kind of love it in the shop here. And um, I think we're either going to build a ramp truck so I can put on the ramp truck and drive to show, like build a 50s or 60s style truck, ramp truck. So uh, we can do shows and stuff. Or uh, the trailer is actually still sitting where we got the car. I think. If I can still get the trailer, I might go back, get the trailer. It was rotted right into the ground. But if I can get it and copy it and then build a old truck of basically the same era to tow it around to shows, I think that would be pretty cool. I just, it's, uh, it's a fun piece of history to share with everybody. I don't really want to restore it or do anything with it. I think that just kind of, kind of ruin it, to be honest with you. I'd be, I'd have to replace so much, I don't think it'd be the same. I was interested, I didn't want to hack it up or take pieces off it. I wanted it to just be as is, because it's just so cool. So I'd kind of, and, uh. I'm just, I really enjoy having it around and having guys around of the era to check it out. And it's kind of cool. They start telling me about the stuff they did and how it compared to this car. So it's uh, been really fun to have. Worth every penny. I uh, definitely stepped up to buy it. Um, but worth every penny. It's, it's a cool piece.